How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking more about the Persona 5 this stage. Turns out, after the performance, everything was recorded, so they are coming up with a Blu ray slash DVD set to be released February 19th, 2021. I'm getting this information over at PersonaCentral.com, so guys, go ahead and check out that website in case you guys want to check this stuff out for yourself. But briefly, we're going to go over this. It releases February 19th, 2021, so it's not too far into the next year but let's go over some details as to what this is going to be here's the actual cover art blu-ray being a little bit smaller the dvd being a little bit larger because how to fit dvds and everything in there but you can get it on blu-ray you can get it on dvd as well but there is a little bit of a difference in terms of pricing when it comes to this so this official name is persona 5 the stage number two like i said february 19th 2021 it is a two disc set one with the main story and the second with the bonus video the bonus video being the making of the rehearsals daily footage stuff like that probably makeup them uh, practicing different stuff like that is coming from marvelous studios and dmm.com i cannot find this to be pre-ordered anywhere it is very new so there's a good chance that's why you can't pre-order this just yet but if you do find some sites out there please let me know talk to me down below in the comment section let me know where you can actually buy this so we can get that information out there but the blu-ray is 9800 yen so roughly that's going to be 98 dollars the dvd is going to be roughly just 88 dollars if you convert that into usd it's going to be a little bit cheaper because of inflation so subtract about 10 percent towards that as well so you could probably see this being just around 60 to 70 ish dollars in terms of the dvd in terms of the blu-ray but i always say with shipping costs you're pretty much going to be losing that inflation if you're trying to get it from overseas so pretty much you're seeing what you get in usd converted from yen just about so it's about 98 dollars for the blu-ray and about 88 dollars for the dvd version pretty expensive but hey it's pretty cool going over the whole story, having the bonus videos as well. So it sounds like it's more than just showing the actual show itself. You're getting live footage from the you know characters, probably rehearsals, stuff like that, daily footage. Sounds like a pretty cool concept, pretty cool idea, I think, as well. Let's go over some screenshots that we've seen here from the actual people here of, you know, the whole play itself. So... You have this first one here just the gang makoto or queen is new for this one she was in the original stage so it's kind of cool getting to actually see her here as well it looks like we got some like they just look like really good like cosplayers i guess you could say just like professional cosplayers i mean their outfits look pretty good pretty like damn near spot on as to what they are in the main game i, I mean of course it looks a little bit better in game but still Overall, this looks very nice, pretty cool to see. So there's some of them and these student uniforms, Joker Queen and our uh, boy, um, forget his name, artist guy. We'll just call him that. <laughs> I'm absolutely terrible at names. People are gonna think I'm like the worst fan ever, but honestly, I, I just forget names. Seriously, I can't remember my mom's birthday. It's pretty bad. Uh, just names and numbers everything in general. I'm absolutely terrible watching it I'm absolutely terrible in terms of memorizing shit, but there is even more of the characters. We got Kawakami there if the teachers there we have the a whole lineup of um, Different characters here. We have queen sister. We got even the painter We got Sojo boy Sojo in the background a catchy in the center there. We have just about all of the characters here that you see i'm pretty sure are all the ones that are included in this um play in this whole play here and then we have them in some more of their casual outfits ryuji rocking his normal stuff even i don't understand why they did this this looks so weird because he's supposed to be a cat in like the human form but i guess they're like no we're not gonna have him look like an actual cat we'll make him look like he does in the metaverse which to me is kind of like oh okay weird but that's how they have them. I guess run, having a little black cat run around wouldn't have been as cool, I guess. I guess that's what they're going for. <laughs> Why they didn't do that. I guess he's a little more... Um, I don't know. I guess he's a little bit more mascot-like when he's in this form. Which I kind of agree. Instead of just being a normal cat. The actual boss fight here is pretty cool as well. We're getting the actual 
boss fight. You guys remember this boss fight? You had to attack each of these different things. Each of the things did something different. So it's showing the actual play, the boss fight that happens in game, which I think is pretty interesting how they did something like that. Instead of just having it be like they ran around, stabbed people, and blah, 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 and it's over. No, they actually put in certain pieces from the boss fight in this, which is really interesting how they went about doing this. I'm curious to watch this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm willing to spend that much money doing that, though. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. Is it seems like it costs a lot. That and having to import it and everything will just be nuts. The person they have playing with Kodo is pretty cute as well. But yeah, we got... <laughs> we got Joker, Protags, and there was Sojo, which, dude... What in the world? Sojo looks so fucking weird. Those are definitely just drawn-on eyebrows. Like, what is going on? This is good. I think this is great. This bit's great. The, the makeup and everything they did to him is, is fine. I, I, don't, I don't mind that. That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. Just Sojuro, man, just does not look right. Something about Sojuro just doesn't look okay. Makoto, Queen. Yeah, baby. Looking good. Awesome. I, I was wondering how they were going to do like the, 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 the knuckles. But you know what? That's pretty good. They did a pretty good job doing that. Um, it looks a little bit bigger than it does in real life. There's some more the casino themed palace, which is really fun. I'm glad they brought these fools back. These fools. Uh, it's, it's kind of funny, kind of interesting. Akechi looks great as well. Did a very good job casting Akechi. The wig's kind of weird. And more bowl cut like than the actual Akechi, but overall still pretty dope. Still pretty nice. There's a listing here of all of the characters. Even the person who voices Morgana is put there as well. But all of the different characters and the actors who do them, they're all there for you to see. In case, in case you're curious, I think some of them are the exact same ones from the previous Persona stage. But this is a more fleshed out, includes more palaces, more characters from the actual games, which is cool. I'm glad they had, you know, I think Makoto was new. I think Sainijima was new, I believe, as well. I, I think Akechi was new, but I know that some of the um, other ones, like Madarame, was brand new as well. So, overall, pretty cool. This should have helped you, whether or not you really want to actually get the movie and watch all of that stuff. And in case you are curious behind the stage of how all that stuff happened, it's there on the DVD. And like I said, guys, PersonaCentral.com, I'm not paid by them by any means or anything else at all. But they do a really good job on doing this type of news, this different kind of stuff here. Uh, you know, Reggie here had done this one, and then let's go up. I'm just trying to make sure I give the right credit what's due, and Reggie did this one as well. So all of the Persona stage stuff was done. Um, I'll buy Reggie on Persona Central, but I think that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe for more content. I'm going to have even more Persona videos coming out and more Shimagami Tensei videos coming out as well. If you want to be up to date on the latest news regarding just the Atlas world in general, I'm going to be having a new Catherine video coming out and a new Persona video coming out that's going to be pretty different compared to what I normally do. It's going to be a bigger, more in-depth video of just the series in general instead of just regarding news. I like covering news, but I'm going to be having some new series along with new content coming up. That's not going to hinder the news videos, but I'm going to have a lot more content than just news videos coming out in the most recent dates. But that's going to be all for this video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.